On 7 News tonight, the Reevesby Inferno. Huge balls of fire erupt from a factory with dangerous chemicals inside. Workers flee as emergency crews fight to avoid a disaster. Shark survivor, the lucky escape for a teenage surfer bitten three times. Underprepared, claims Australia isn't ready to handle an outbreak of Ebola. And controversy over a famous Sydney cash cow at the Opera House. 7 News starts now. This is 7 News at 6 with Melissa Doyle. Good evening. Sydney fire crews have prevented a potentially catastrophic explosion at Reevesby where an inferno had engulfed a factory containing thousands of litres of chemicals. Workers and firefighters only realised how dangerous the blaze had become when a huge fireball tore through the roof of the complex. This was the moment a factory fire rocketed out of control. Well, let's check the forecast now. And Angie Asimus is out enjoying the spring weather at the opening of the Paramasala Festival. Oh, Mel, it's a lovely clear night here at Parramatta and the crowd is certainly making the most of the break in the rain. In just a few moments, a street parade will signal the start of the event, which celebrates all things multicultural about Sydney. Yeah, I come every year. <laughs> it's one of the best events of the year. Gives me a chance to bring out my sari. Love the atmosphere and I love the colour and they've got a really good food. After a few early showers, most of that unsettled weather has now passed, so it's still very pleasant outdoors. Coastal spots reach the high teens. It's slightly warmer here in our west, but if you can't make it out tonight, the festival runs all weekend, and I'll have the forecast shortly, Mel. Thanks, Angie, very much. Still to come in 7 News at 6, peak hour fright, the roadside emergency on a busy Sydney motorway. Also, what Tony Adip, Ab Adam Goods and Nelson Mandela have in common. It's got a Sydney University professor in deep trouble. Beatles history up for grabs. What you didn't know about these pictures. And later in sport, live to an A-League star striker ahead of the Sydney derby that's now a sellout. This could be the cheapest airline takeover deal in the world. Virgin Australia will pay just $1 for full ownership of Tiger Air. Virgin bought a 60% stake in the discount airline last year for $35 million. It'll claim the remaining 40% in exchange for just one gold coin. Tiger Air will still operate as a separate low-cost company. The acquisition will allow Virgin to fly Tiger Air planes overseas and compete with the Qantas-owned Jetstar. The long-running Oscar Pistorius trial is nearing an end, with the athlete likely to be sentenced early next week for killing his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. The South African court has now heard Pistorius is desperate to apologise in person to Reva's parents. He's a convicted killer, but even when surrounded by cameras, Oscar Pistorius remains unfailingly polite. Just ahead in 7 News, Bear on the Loose, the chase that captivated live TV audiences. Bad first spot with Jim Wilson and all set for a classic derby in the A-League. Sure is. Can't wait, Mel. What a rivalry between Sydney FC and the Wanderers. And we'll be joined live by a very special guest for the inside word. Plus, some welcome relief for the besieged Wallabies as Adam Ashley Cooper swaps gold for white. And living on a knife's edge on an extraordinary day at Phillip Island, the spectacular pictures are next. Welcome back, everyone. The injury-depleted kangaroos have arrived in Brisbane ahead of next weekend's Four Nations opener against New Zealand. There are 11 new faces, with rising Panthers star Matt Moylan replacing the NFL-bound Jared Hayne. Okay, we'll get uh, huge weekend. Yes. I'm on weekend sunrise tomorrow morning, and then the derby tomorrow night I'll be going along to. And we will have a Sydney FC player joining us tomorrow night, just to square the ledger. <laughs> Wise and big diplomatic. Dis big disclaimer, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Jim, very okay, much. Thank Enjoy you. it all. Thank you. The day's finance is coming up in 7 News, plus pictures of a very different police chase that had viewers in America on edge. And I'll have your full weekend forecast live from Sydney's Paramasala Festival. Tonight's 7 News headlines, huge balls of fire erupt from a factory with dangerous chemicals inside. A teenage surfer's lucky escape, bitten by a shark three times. Claims Australia is underprepared to handle an outbreak of Ebola. And chefs headed to court over the licence to Sydney's famous opera bar. 
Checking finance markets now and they finished the week on a high. The ASX 200 gained 17 points. All of the big four banks made gains. And one Aussie dollar tonight buying 87 and a half US cents. Well, Angie Asimus has Sydney's forecast live from Parramatta. Oh, Mel, what a lovely night to be out here for the opening of Paramasala. There's no sign of those showers we saw earlier today. Sydney reached a top of 21 degrees, which is pretty close to average. Right now, it's still a pleasant 18. Across the suburbs, showers were mostly coastal. Bondi and Manly reached 19 degrees. More sunshine in the west pushed temperatures up around 21 degrees. On the satellite, a high in the east will bring most the fine conditions again tomorrow. There is just the chance of some coastal showers once again. If anything, they will be patchy and nothing more than about five millimetres or so. Around the country tomorrow, the chance of a storm in Perth. Brisbane may see a shower or two. Apart from that, all the other capitals are looking fine. Very hot for Adelaide, though. 32 degrees there. On the water for your Saturday, expect east to south easterly winds at 10 to 15 knots. Fine weather will kick off the weekend in Sydney tomorrow and 22 degrees to go with that sunshine. It's a similar story across the region. Southerlies will ease, leading to slightly warmer conditions. Richmond and Liverpool reaching 23, Cronulla 21. Looking ahead, we've got a stellar weekend on the way. Sunday will be the pick with blue sky and 25 degrees. Even warmer in our west, 29 on Sunday and getting up to 32 degrees on Thursday. After those ferocious storms, we've earned that forecast, I think, Mel. Absolutely. All right, Angie, you have fun out there tonight. Thanks. And that is 7 News for this Friday. I'm Melissa Doyle. I hope you have a great night.